I'm uh, Bill Baltopoulos. Uh, I'm the new professor of biomechanics in the School of uh, Sports and Education here in the Center for Sports Medicine uh, and Human Performance. Could you tell us what the study of biomechanics is? Biomechanics is uh, a scientific principle where you apply uh, the methods and techniques of mechanics into biological systems. And in the human uh, body in particular, uh, especially in sports that we're interested in here, uh, is all about understanding the effects of forces on the human body and how you can optimize performance but at the same time reduce injuries whenever that's possible. Within the subdiscipline of biomechanics, what sort of teaching and research do you do? Uh, my main interest um, in, in research and my involvement in teaching uh, relates to the um, uh, biomechanics of the musculoskeletal system in particular. Uh, and the focus is on the in vivo function of muscles and tendons. In other words, uh, how muscles and tendons work uh, when somebody is performing uh, a typical sporting activity. And we're trying to understand some basic mechanisms uh, of how people perform, why injuries happen, uh, and what we can do to prevent them. Now, we actually have an experiment going on today. That's right. Would you mind just describing uh, a wee bit about what's going on here? Of course. Um, our main focus is to understand the in vivo function of muscles and tendons. We're trying to understand uh, how the mechanical properties uh, of those tissues that basically is where the force that uh, moves the body is produced uh, and transmitted to, to the bones, um, what, what happens to the properties of those tissues and how they interact when we perform different activities. And what you see here uh, is an ultrasound probe um, that basically uh, looks at the um, muscle uh, and we can image the, uh, the tendon um, and where it meets the uh, muscle and we can see the muscle fascicles uh, where the muscle force is produced and how they transmit the force uh, to the tendon. And from the analysis of those images we can uh, um, determine what happens say when um, uh, an athlete is growing up uh, and they take part in different activities, what happens is they do a particular uh, training uh, program, uh, how that training affects the uh, mechanical properties of the muscles and the tendons and how those uh, effects then um, uh, affect the performance uh, of, of that person. Recently, the fastest man in the world and his entourage came to see you. What exactly did you do for Usain Bolt and the other Jamaican sprinters? Well, Usain Bolt was sitting uh, in, in this uh, uh, same chair and he was uh, undergoing exactly the same experiments. Uh, and again, we're trying to understand fundamental basic mechanisms of muscle function. And we're looking at a broad spectrum uh, of, of people from, from young athletes uh, up to the top person in the world, in, in the case of, of, of Hussein. Uh, and we're trying to understand how those um, properties of the muscle and tendon change in that sort of spectrum of people uh, because that is uh, the basic uh, method, if you like, to help you understand why people perform at different levels as they grow, as the musculoskeletal system develops, and then as the training uh, and obviously the background uh, and, and all you know, the uh, other aspects of their life, how they uh, affect this, this function. And it's not, only, it's not only for the top athletes, it's for you know, the people that exercise regularly on, on a daily basis, um, elderly uh, groups of people that, that take part in, in different exercises. We need to understand uh, the fundamental properties of the muscle and tendon to understand the function uh, of the musculoskeletal system. In your yeah. expert opinion, will Usain Bolt run under 19 seconds for 200 metres? Uh, if he keeps doing the right things, uh, I'm sure he can, he can improve. Uh, it certainly is, is possible. Uh, uh, at, at what time frame, nobody I think can tell. Uh, but he's, he's an amazing athlete. He um, uh, clearly uh, is um, um, uh, ahead of the field. And it's a case of uh, optimizing his training 
and paying attention to the things that he can improve, uh, obviously to improve the, the performance. But it's all very, very interesting and very exciting.